gifted and safi Ramadan Mubarak Holy Records Ramadan Mubarak Nakulli Muslim Shari Al-Azim Fiha Yunazil Al-Quran back to my channel and welcome if you are new here if you are new here i would love it if you subscribe join us i have so many amazing ramadan videos coming your way this month if you enjoy them you're going to want to stick around and give this video a like if you end up enjoying it so today i've decided to decorate the house for ramadan we do this every year i've been doing this for the past two to three years now and each time we decorate the house the kids face just lights up and i genuinely believe it is so important in this day and age where we live in the west to make ramadan and aid into a really really big deal for the children especially for the younger generation where we didn't really grow up celebrating or even decorating the house for Eid because obviously we didn't have the money and i feel like you don't need a lot of money to do special things especially with decorations you can make you can do arts and crafts with them. It's all about the connection more so than decorating. I feel like there's a more deeper meaning behind it. I am so happy that we have so many decorations accessible to us right now, more than we did in the past. And that makes me so happy. My kids love it. Their face absolutely lights up. Decorating the home for Ramadan has so many benefits, not only for us adults, but more so for the children. It helps to build up this excitement, anticipation for the month of Ramadan. It helps them to connect with their faith, especially if they're asking more questions because of the decorations, because we're making such a big deal of it. As adults, they will see our excitement and get more excited. I really don't want them to feel um, like they're missing out in other big celebrations in the UK, such as Christmas. So I want them to feel like, look, we have something ourselves. You know, my kids always say this. They always say, we have two big Eids. We have Ramadan, we decorate the house, we get each other presents. We go all out as you should. Make it special any way or how that you know. I promise you it will make such a massive difference. They won't feel like they're missing out on anything because you make it happen for them. Well, Ramadan Mubarak everyone, you're probably seeing this a week later, but welcome to the first week of Ramadan with me. So I'm not sure what this video is going to look like. There is no such plans from me anyway as to what I'm going to do this week. I have no clue. So we're about to find out together when this comes together at the end of the week. My aim is definitely to not do too much because I am fasting and I don't want to exert myself the first week of fast is always the hardest. How has your first week of fasting gone? Tell me which day was the hardest. It is not that hard so far. I think it's got to do with what I had for suhoor. There's me thinking I might film my suhoor, but pff. I had very high expectations of myself. I was so tired, so exhausted. I am surprised I barely made it to the suhoor time. Um, I definitely knew I was gonna wake up for fajr. Suhoor, too tired to come down, but it really helped that I pre-made my suhoor if that makes sense and if you don't know what suhoor is it's basically the meal that you have before you start to fast so that is as simple as it is so before you fast you need to eat and suhoor is basically the thing that you eat it could be anything and obviously you want something that will keep you full and keep you going throughout the day i had drum rolls please i'm joking <laughs> it's not that exciting i had the most boring of boring suhoors you'll ever ever hear of but very filling i had two boiled eggs and the trick is ladies and gents is to boil it before you go to bed okay do not try to think yeah it's easy i'm gonna boil it when i wake up at 4 a.m you're not gonna do it promise i was this close to missing sahur but because it was already boiled all i had to do is crack it and eat it and have some water i was uh, more inclined to eat it so i think that's a really easy one and i also pre-made the kids breakfast the night before they love to have pancakes or waffles or french toast or whatever listen kids don't know the difference between fresh pancakes and the night before pancakes that my mum made and froze you then warmed up in the toaster they don't care they just eat <laughs> so make your life easy trust me pre-do everything and it'll save you so much time it lets me sleep in till 7 30 which is fantastic anyway 
Ramadan Mubarak, how is your Ramadan going? Let me know. I sat on the floor because I wanted to show you guys something. I am making the kids Ramadan baskets right about now. I've got a few things in front of me and I want to share it with you guys because I don't know. I think these little things that I do <laughs> for my kids is really cute and it's so nice and maybe it can inspire some of you guys or if you want to do a before I eat basket, although they get Eid presents. What do you need the basket for? before I eat, you know? So no, this is really good. You can still do it if um, you haven't done it, if you want to. It's just really nice way to get the kids excited for Ramadan, I think, and to get them to doing some sort of crafts, activities, whilst you're fasting so that it's not so hard on you. I don't know. Here's my basket. This is the basket I'm gonna use. I got it from Yankee Candle. It looks like this. It came with a bunch of things that I got gifted from Yankee Candle when I was working with them. There's my little name tag. But anyway, I thought I'd repurpose this. And it is quite a big um, basket, so I'm gonna fill it up with things for both of them rather than give them separate baskets, you know? So I'm gonna show you the pajamas. I got them first, actually, we'll go get it. Ordered them pajamas each from Next, and I got her an Encanto one and Malik a Minecraft one. That's gonna go in there like that. They're gonna love that. They're going to have a bath today and put those on all nice and fresh. I should have probably done this last night, but it's fine. I didn't have time to do the baskets and I wanted to pick up Play-Doh and things like that to add in there. So anyway, Play-Doh, got these two, one each. And I've got a bunch of goodies from Iman Kids and I use those divider plates from them. I've had it for God knows how many years and they're such good quality, but yeah, kindly gifted us this and this is the Ramadan Mubarak calendar filled with 30 fun fidget toys which is amazing because the ones I see in the shops they're filled with chocolates that don't even taste good so I'm happy with this so I'm gonna put that in there oh gosh I should have probably put the big one in first before the little ones I can already see a bunch of things that the kids would like like the stretchy man they love stuff like that so this is a really nice advent calendar and then they've got this Arabic alphabet flashcards is a double-sided flashcard. They actually speak, which is amazing. We have these two smartwatches, the coolest smartwatch for little Muslims. It's got camera, torch, record, calculator, surahs, du'as, nasheeds, reminders, countdowns, calendar, stopwatch, games. Amazing feature in Quran, du'as, prayer, and reminders. I love that. Honestly, perfect concept. Um, it's from a sister that actually, I think she's a revert sister that wrote this. She gifted it to us, so thank you so much. I haven't had time to look through it, so I'll show you guys um, what it looks like. Let me watch. Let me see which day it is. Aww. Let me see which day it is. It's the begin you know what, I'm going to show you guys now. That is such a nice book. So I'm going to get this out of their packaging. I just think it looks nicer. How nice are these Encanto pyjamas? I got her a size, I think I got her a size. This is what it looks like now that I'm done with it. And look at this book, guys. This is such a good book, honestly. I'm gonna link it below. The Ramadan basket is now complete. Can't wait for them to get it. We are gonna absolutely love this. <laughs> that we never had. It's almost time to get the kids. I always make them after school snacky plates every single day because they come home starving. They do walk there and walk back. Takes them um, a good six minutes to walk. So I like them to have something to eat as soon as they come home because they haven't eaten since lunchtime. And also it stops the whole, I'm hungry every five seconds and I put everything they want on the plate, they eat all of that and no more food or snacks until dinner time at 5.45ish. What I make them does keep them full until dinner time. So when you see and you think, oh, it's so much, did they actually eat all that? They do. <laughs> they come home starving. I'm pretty sure all you mums with kids at home know what it's like when the kids come home from school. And I just don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear I'm hungry every five minutes and I sit down and I get up again. And I'm like, there's dinner coming and they just whinge, you know, I get it. They've had a really long day at school. But yeah, that means I only have about five, six minutes to sit down and read some Quran alone without getting disturbed. Whoa, 
Sorry about that. That was a bit too bright. Yeah, half about five, six minutes. You get it, you mums, when the kids just want to be in your face. Listen. I can feel it. Even can you, you hear that? Even if you be louder, you will hear it. Ah! All right. It's raining so much. I mean, it was raining when we were walking home, but not as much as it is now. Alhamdulillah, that we were we're not outside right now. Say Alhamdulillah, that we're not outside right now. No. So I have made. I will never say Alhamdulillah. Little pizzas, and I've got them from the freezer. Of this is one of our little pizza preps. Yeah, we made it out of those little flatbread. So we put some like pizza sauce, no, some cheese, bit of herbs. That one for me. This, no, that one for me. That this one. one for border because. But this is bigger. You want the bigger one? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see the height. <laughs> okay. The brother is obviously going to have two of them. Because he's nine and he's going to be ten. And no. you're, he's nine and you're four, right? So pieces are so easy to make, but they make such good snacks. Almost so. five. Who are you? Yeah. Can I pick four of those? Do you want a mac? No. Okay. Can Liana pick... absolutely loves these little uh, no, cup of yogurt. Can I have four of those? Four of what? Those sprinkles. What? You want some sprinkles? You want to put the sprinkles on top? Yeah. Can I pick four because I'm four? Sure. <laughs> the kids have sat down to have their after school snacks they chose to have their after school snack pray put pajamas on and then have the surprise the basket's just there so this when they're having their after school snacks it buys me around 15 to 20 minutes of just just peace and quiet by myself so i'm gonna sit down get some work done because Work still has to be done, unfortunately. But today I did have a, an appointment, so I had to leave the house. I wouldn't usually. Guys, I have gotten, how many steps? Let me just check. Can you guys see the steps on my watch? 11,000 steps I've done today. 11,000 and it is currently 3.47. So by the end of the day, I would have done 16K steps. I know you're thinking, how are you going to get 4 or 5k more steps in the house? Trust me, when these kids finish the after school snack, they're going to be saying, Mummy, play with me, play with me, and then I'll be torn between playing with Malik and playing with Liana. It is a lot, honestly, but alhamdulillah, this is all you are rewarded for every struggle in life, especially if you're fasting. So if you're fasting and you're finding it very, very difficult, you are actually rewarded for persevering through that difficulty and through that struggle. <laughs> Playing with your kids is an act of ibadah. This brings me to all the mothers that aren't able to fast, all the fathers, all the people that are not able to participate in Ramadan due to whatever circumstance that you're going through. I don't want you guys to think that you can't take part in Ramadan. I know it doesn't feel the same when you're not fasting, but there are so many ways that you can still take part such as playing with your kids. Did you know that's an act of ibadah? Did you know cleaning your home is an act of ibadah and taking part of Ramadan, cooking for fasting people? There are so many things that you can do to feel the spirit of Ramadan. If you feed a person that's fasting, so much rewards to you. I don't have anyone to feed currently. <laughs> it's just me um, fasting and it's just me. It feels a bit different. It feels a bit weird, but life anyway um i'm gonna get on with some work now because they will come and disturb me anytime now so i'll probably catch you guys tomorrow oh i'll show you guys their little cute reaction look at this and the fact that you get reward it's gonna be fabulous for malik and you have some coloring in pages and it teaches them in every single page so each day you learn something i love that i love that i'm gonna link it below for you guys for your kids Especially because in this Ramadan, we have the two-week Easter break falling in Ramadan. So we have them at home for half of the Ramadan, which is something. That is something. That's all I have to say about that. Um, yeah, things like this will keep them occupied. It will keep them busy. And the basket, you can do the basket anytime. Don't think, oh, I didn't do it in the first day of Ramadan, so it's too late. No, girl, you have... <laughs> 
29 days left of Ramadan, so it is never too late. Make the basket, it will make the kids' day, and yeah, just little, little things in there. You don't have to make it, you know, super fancy, you can just be creative. And I love that we have so much resources available. I'm gonna guess it. I'm gonna guess it. Put this down the middle. No, why you close your eyes? I'm gonna close my eyes and try to guess it. Malik, what do you think of your pajamas? Do you like Minecraft? Uh -huh. One for you, one for brother? Uh, this, this I have a secret diary. Yeah, give it to brother. I don't want to see this watch. What does it do? Read what he does. Malik, get your calendar. Get your calendar. Because huh? you've got toys in your calendar. What? Did you know that? This? Yeah. Leanna, get yours. Wait! He's got 30 days of oh, toys. Where's my clay? Okay. Open your calendar, you've got a toy in there. Yeah. Oh, I'm opening with number one. Oh, only open number one. Yeah. yeah. I'll help you, I'll help you. I'll oh. just show you where it is. You're such a good brother. Push it in, yeah. push number one. Push it really hard. What did you get? Ooh, who's excited? Ooh, what do you have? What have you got? Oh, wow. What have you got, Leanne? A mini fidget? Okay, let's just say you, you're not supposed to get that one yet. Yeah. Um, can I Let me see one? yours, Malik. What is that? Oh, that is so cool. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a mini fidget. That's so cool. This is so cool. Yeah. Look how cool is it? Oh. <laughs> okay. We should put that up there. Tomorrow, open that one only. Yeah, number two, yeah? I want to open it. No, no, t darling. Today's number one, first day of Ramadan. Tomorrow is number two. There's a toy under here, under here, under there. Okay, all of this is filled with toys for you for 30 days. Okay? You got one today. <laughs> Brother got one as well. <laughs> this is so funny. my present? Here, this is your present for today. Should we open this? And should we open... Um... <gasps> Mom, can we find it? Can we find it? Can we do friendly? That's sticker. Mom, can we do friendly? Oh, and if we can, we can find each other. Sticker. Wait, let's open this. Yeah, open that. Get the sticker out. Yeah. Oh, it's special. We... A special sticker for my special girl. Camera, torch, recorder, calculator, so as you are. Okay, there's too much. <laughs> I'm probably going to put our mind up at school. Only Mirabelle. Yeah, she's well, so cute. Well, the song is called Encanto and her name is called Mirabelle. That's right. Mirabelle. Yeah, should we have a wash today and put them on? Uh-huh. Yes. Kay. Open the wash. Do some bubbles? Inside. Okay. <laughs> Can you put the bubble? Sure. Good girl. <gasps> pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I understood. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm going to play again. Whatever bubble you get, mm -hmm. you win one some points. Fantastic. I'm going to try to do this. Okay, do it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Did not get all of them. Can you guys hear the rain ASMR? Mm -mm -mm. 